Now where do I put all this stuff? Hey folks, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking and today I'll be doing a product review for you on the Low Pro Viewpoint BP250AW Action Camera Backpack. Now once you start messing around with action cameras, it's not going to take you very long to start building up quite a collection of all kinds of gadgets like tripods and different camera accessories, straps, all kinds of cameras. Uh, in fact, it happens pretty quick. It's kind of addictive. Now, the tough part is you've got all these different gadgets and cool things to play with. Where are you going to put them all and how are you going to keep them organized when you want to go out in the field and start videotaping all your friends and not lose anything? So where do you put all this stuff? So now that I have all these cool gadgets to play around with, uh, looking for a solution to store them all, I reached out to Low Pro for some help. They were cool enough to send me over the 250 um, so I can do a product review and see if it would take care of uh, storing all these gadgets and, and making it easier to take all the gadgets out into the field. So, hey, Low Pro, thanks, that was pretty nice of you. Now, before I talk about what makes the 250 such a great bag for the action camera adventure, let's just talk about the bag's quality in general. I'll get into the specifics about the pockets, the zippers, and the organizers for the action camera gear but it's important to make sure that the bag itself is of good quality. So you'll notice right away that the bag is, uh, is, is rather light, which is a big win. You're gonna be putting all these different items inside of this bag and it could get heavy because of all the items. Now, if the bag was heavy from the beginning, that's not really too cool. You'll find people taking these bags, uh, whether they're hiking, mountain biking, you'll even find people taking them out when they're skateboarding. So the bag has to be light because it's gonna get a little heavy with all the gear you're gonna put in. Now besides the quality of the bag in, well, in regards to how much it weighs, the bag seams, the zippers, the buckles, everything you would expect to find in a high quality bag like this one um, is all here for you. And that's really important. Even all the, the, um, the padding for the back straps, the shoulder straps, so it doesn't hurt your shoulders when you're wearing it out there in the field. Um, different designs in the back where the padding touches your back itself to let air flow through. It was just really well designed. Um, you can tell that there was a lot of um, thought in this bag when they put it together because you're going to be taking it again in the field and you want it to be comfortable and you want it to of course hold up to the different uh, tasks you're going to be putting it through. Now one of the key components to this bag is this sub component or subsection of the backpack, you can actually unzip this small pouch on the side, and it's really cool. You pull out a whole nother bag. Now what's nice about this bag is it's specifically designed to hold all your action camera gear, uh, cameras, adapters, cool things like that. So I'll open up and show you what I keep in mind. I keep all my cameras, like I mentioned, all your little twists and ties and small tripods. Everything is nicely organized in this sub bag. Another cool thing about this bag is the fact that I can take it with me just as a bag. I may not always need the full backpack, so sometimes having a small bag with just the immediate necessities that I need to work on is a little easier to work with than taking the whole backpack around. It's just another option, but it's a really cool option, and it's a nice way of not having to put everything in one backpack and having to sort through the backpack to find all your parts. It's nicely organized in this small pouch and then it just zips up and gets put right back in the backpack so you don't lose anything. Now from the top of the bag, you've got a nice compartment to store uh, your tablets and your laptops. So you'll see that I keep my laptop inside of this bag as well as my tablet. Now you might not always wanna take these expensive items on the trail, but if you wanna travel and you're gonna take your backpack on a ski trip or all your gear on a trip with you and you wanna take these items with you, it can all fit inside this bag and it's all safe. It's got padding inside there. Two compartments, one for the actual laptop and one for the tablet that'll all fit in here. Now, if you don't take those items with you on the field, you can also put external monitors in here. I have a small seven inch camera uh, external viewing screen I take with me that I can use to plug into my action cameras and get a better view of what I'm actually videoing 
and I can fit that right inside of here. So not only can you fit, again, the laptop and the, the tablet, use it for other things. I put those different external monitors right in here. They fit great and the padding keeps them safe. Just another option to use with the bag. Uh, pretty nice design. So right next to the section where you can put your laptop and your tablet, you'll find another compartment that opens up. It's pretty deep and you can put all kinds of gear in here as well. You've got a section where you can strap in your headphones. I personally use it for any of the wires that I want to take with me and again, I can keep them organized in the bag. You've got different compartments on the front where you can put maybe external hard drives, pens, things like that. Bottom line, it's a nice deep pocket where you can add more items. I also put my, um, my headgear and my chesty straps right in here because they're bigger items and you just tuck them right in there and they're easy to find. Plus, you've got another pouch in here. It's a nice mesh little pocket. The mesh is pretty cool because, I don't know about you, but sometimes when you put things inside of the pockets and you can't see in the pocket, you can't find anything. Since this pocket's kind of deep, it might get dark and you'd never find, what, you know, find anything in there. The mesh allows you to put everything in there, but you can still find all your items because you can see through the mesh. So just another place to store all your items and keep them all organized and not lose anything. So just a couple more things I want to cover for you, um, specifically on the front of the bag that I didn't cover before. You've got, yep, another zipper. So you can open up this zipper and this one has a nice place to put your keys. And some of your thinner items, I keep some of the dividers in here that are part of that small sub pouch that I pulled out. Just a nice place to store things. And a little further down, you've got a pouch with a Velcro, a uh, little um, closing device over here. Now what's nice about this pouch, it's great for when you're traveling, if you wanna put maybe your passport or your, um, your flight tickets, train tickets, you can stick them all right here because you have to kind of get them out fast. So it's just this little Velcro, you know, little thing over here. You open it up and everything's right there. Personally, what I put inside of here when I'm out, you know, ride my mountain bike, another great place to put your map. So you can put your map right in here, it's easy to find. It's not that these zipper pockets are hard to open, but these are just quick items you have to get to fast, and they're usually thin, kind of like paper goods. Stick it right in the front over here, Velcro closes it up, and, and it's good to go and easy to get to. Now I'll specifically be using this bag for when I'm out mountain biking, and you're gonna be bouncing around a bit on that bike. What they've put into the backpack, another nice design, are these small little straps. One's across the front of the shoulder straps, kind of near the top of your chest, that can be tightened up. And then you have another one on the bottom that would go around your waist. So between the top one around your chest and the other one, the other one around your waist, it's gonna hold that backpack to your back tight. So when you're bouncing around, the bag's not gonna jump around all over the place, which means now your gear won't jump around all over the place. It's just more proof that the bag was designed for the action camera type adventurer person that's gonna take this out into the field and have a lot of fun with it. And you don't want your stuff flying all over the place. So these straps were a really nice addition to the bag. Uh, the front, it even adjusts, which is pretty cool based on your build, just to make it comfortable because you might have this thing on you for a little while and these different features hold it tight but keep it from getting uncomfortable. Now the last item that I wanna cover within this specific backpack is the all weather cover that comes tucked into the bottom of the bag. Um, you can't always plan on great weather, right? You might be out there and it might start raining or maybe you wanna take this out on the slopes, okay? And uh, even if it's a nice day, snow's gonna kick up, you're having a great time, you wanna keep everything safe. So there's this nice all weather uh, kind of poncho type of thing that tucks right into a zipper on the bottom of the bag. You take this guy and you can pull it right on top of the backpack. Everything now is covered and protected and it'll make sure everything stays dry. It just helps protect the bag in the elements. What are you using the bag for? You're using it to take it out in the elements. So it's gonna get wet one day. You're gonna be out in a day when it's gonna rain or you're gonna be taking it snowboarding and it might get some snow on it. But the bag will be okay either way. This though really helps protect it when things get a little messy. I want to again really thank Low Pro for sending me this bag. It's going to be a huge help for me when I go out in the field and take all my gear. It just was really nice of them to be able to support someone like me and just make sure everything is organized. So again, Low Pro, that was so cool of you. So thanks so much. 
Um, this bag is a great bag. I really think it'll be a great addition to anyone that wants to go out there in the field and have a bunch of fun. And whether you're going to be doing the concrete jungle type of thing or you're going to be an adventurer out in the woods, this bag's got you covered. As I mentioned before, your, your, your kit's going to build up fast. It doesn't take long and you're going to get a lot of parts. This will keep it all organized and keep it safe so you can take it with you. Okay, so hey, subscribe. Hope you liked the video. Hope you got something from the video. Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, thanks so much and hope to see you soon. Hell, hell.